This is by no means a professional video. I want to get that out of the way first because I hate cameras. I hate suits. She got me in a suit, but she wasn't going to get me into a out of my box hat. Alright, I want to go over a bunch of things. There's this stuff out there called TVT slings, bladder mesh, hernia mesh. And I got affiliated with it through my wife having to put in her. And from that point on, our life became nothing but a living nightmare for over two years of visits to hospitals and all kinds of stuff. So on that note, I was inspired and we started a nonprofit organization to help other women that are also affected by the mesh. So anyway, we got pretty involved with this for two, three years now. We've been writing letters to the FDA. Um, our group and organization is growing to a worldwide organization. Um, we have wrote hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of letters to talk shows to, like I said, the FDA. And it just seems to keep getting ignored in the media. And my hopes are that this video will touch your heart enough that you will pass it on to somebody else and we can get the word out there and maybe the hundreds of thousands of women that were implanted with these slings will get the justice and get help that they deserve because of a product that wasn't even properly tested before it was put in their body. A product they wasn't warned that could possibly devastate the rest of their life. Could even kill them. Um, as far as things that I wanted to cover in this video, some of the latest breaking court events that we've been following over the last six months or so, um, they're doing these trials they call bellwether trials, which is like a sample trial for them to decide what, how to proceed with the other hundreds and hundreds and thousands and thousands of trials that's going on. Well, in one of the latest J&J &J cases, um, it was found out that J&J &J conveniently lost hundreds of thousands of documents related to MESH. Now, it's just my opinion here, but when you lose half of the documents, the evidence, isn't that destroying evidence? Isn't that a crime? That would be like a murderer destroying a knife and then saying there's no evidence. It was an accident. How is this justice? This is why these women continue to suffer. Because Big Pharma has manipulated everything in their benefit to where even the lawsuits are taking years and years and years. And in the meantime, these women die off. They suffer. They're losing their homes. They're losing their jobs. They can't pick up their grandchildren. Their kids, their husbands turning their back on them. It's a nightmare. And we have to get the word out. It's become worldwide. There was just 60,000 more lawsuits announced out of Israel. It's not just America. It's New Zealand. It's Australia. It's Wales. It's Canada. We have come in contact with women from all over the world, and they all suffer from the same thing, mesh. It's causing all kinds of issues in their body. Their bodies are swelling up like balloons. It's causing autoimmune diseases. Um, women are suddenly coming down with lupus, diabetes. Um, we're associated with people that's even got cancer that they were healthy before this mesh. We need your help spreading the word. Please help me let this go bit viral go bit this video go viral on Facebook. Um, the other entrapment women are faced with, okay, you guys all see these ads on TV. Transvaginal mesh, TVT slings, hernia patches. You see all these commercials on TV, but you know what? It's gonna take years. You know what the first thing these lawyers tell a woman? Don't talk to nobody. Don't seek a support group. Keep it quiet. Don't tell nobody. Why? How? How is a woman supposed to deal with nearly dying, not knowing what's wrong with her, and not have a support group, not have nowhere to turn, and knowing in her mind that people don't believe her, the media is not covering this? How is this going on? It's another unfair justice. 
Uh, another news item that simply caught my attention is just absurd. Bard. There's documents came out. Bard is another maker of mesh. Documents came out that they were told by, I believe it was Chevron Phillips, anyway, one of the um, petroleum companies, do not implant this in the human body. Okay? So, what does the mesh maker do? They establish a third party company, purchase the product, then insert it in the human body, anyways. Isn't that criminal? Why are these people just paying fines and going on? Business as usual. Budget all that in your profit and still make billions of dollars. Why not? <clears throat> I feel that the FDA has responsibility in this too. The FDA is supposed to be an organization to protect the people. I'm not sure of the percentage, but a large majority of the funding comes from pharmaceutical companies. And that's what keeps the FDA going. Well, the FDA's job is to protect you, but if they reject these drugs because they're unsafe or these medical devices, if they cause these companies to do all this testing so we know it's safe, then they won't get the funding. So then they'll be out of job. That's what goes on in our FDA. It's another fine example of government. <clears throat> How did these meshes get on the market? One of the biggest things with these meshes that just will baffle you as well as it did me. The slings were approved by a process in the FDA called the 5O or the 510K process. The 510K process says if this product is like this product, you don't have to test it because you've already went through the testing on this one, okay? So it gets automatically approved. But wait, it gets better. Johnson & Johnson didn't even go through that much of a process. They started marketing their slings before they were ever even approved by the 510K process. That's illegal drug peddling illegal medical device peddling when you don't even have FDA approval and you're putting something into the human body. Where's the justice in all this? I know it almost sounds too crazy to be real, but this is what's going on in America and all over the world today. Hundreds and hundreds of thousands of women and men have been implanted with a poisonous plastic and yes, there's some out there that don't have problems. They get lucky. Their body is able to cover up the process. Then there's the who knows if they're not going to have problems later. And then there's the ones that have problems the minute it's put in. There's no reporting that's even near close of it that women are having problems because there's so many doctors that are in, the, in denial. And believe it or not, they're still putting these mesh products in the human body. <clears throat> Anyway, back to Johnson Johnson, they, the way they um, got this approved, it was approved, I was telling them the two similar products, well, it was approved by a product that had already been recalled. So it had problems, it wasn't no good, let's throw it away, make a new one, and then base it studies on that one, even though it wasn't no good, and we're going to let us put ours on the market. That's how mesh got on the market. And since then, women have been told that it's the gold standard, and they're still using it. We need your help, people. We've got to organize. We've got to get this out in the public. I don't know what it's going to take. Anybody that has ideas, please get a hold of me. David at tvtno.org. We need help. These women deserve justice. And they don't deserve to wait for justice for three or four years till our government steps up and pays attention to this problem. And on that note, I'm going to cut this video off and um, hopefully I'll start doing videos more often as there seems to be a little more and a little more news. Um, but it's not being handled at all properly or like it should be from any agency, by the pharmaceutical companies, by the government. There has to be more that can be done. It's, the suffering and the being quiet, and the it, it's getting nobody nowhere. And the makers are just getting richer and richer. Thank you guys for your time. Now please share, share, share this video.